Good morning guys and welcome back. So this is going to be like the first video in like a part series that I'm going to be uploading every single week called Gears in the Garage. So it's pretty much us in the garage reviewing parts, looking at different parts, um, talking over pretty much just general things in the garage. So it'll be a weekly uh, video upload that you guys can look forward to rather than just like random videos kind of like scattered across. So I'll be looking at uh, product reviews, things to do in the garage, whether it be DIY things, tinkering, um, stuff to make your experience in the garage a little bit better. And so with that, the first thing we want to do is make the garage a little bit nicer. Now we've been in this house for, we've owned this house for like five years and I've never really done anything with the garage itself. So I wanted to give it a bit of an overhaul and make it feel like a bit more of a personal space for me, make, make it feel like more of a garage rather than just like a dwelling underneath the house that just gets used to park the cars. No, I've used the space to work on cars, film videos, everything like that over like the last four years. And I've never really done anything to it. So the first thing we're going to do today is we've got these massive support beams that sit underneath the house. Um, and a couple of years ago, I painted a couple of them black, but these, most of them are these crappy gray color. They just look very industrial, but they just look run down there. A little bit rusty in points and they just need an overhaul. And I wanted something to make it feel a lot nicer, a lot more like a garage. So we went to Super Cheap Auto, we got some paint. We're gonna be painting this with, this with the metal cover epoxy paint. Um, the poles will be in a gloss white um, and all the support beams, the like the cross beams like this, um, and then all these little joints just here will be painting in a gloss black. Now I bought this from Super Cheap Auto for $34 per can and I think it's like, like $4 per, uh, for like a pack of three paintbrushes, so really cheap. But I really want to do stuff in this garage to get you guys excited to be in the garage. And it's little things like paint, um, just water blasting the concrete. It's been so dirty for so long. So we're going to water blast the concrete, then we're going to get onto painting. Um, and it's these small things that can really make the garage feel like home to a lot of men. Um, to get in the garage and feel like you're doing something to make it better. So, in saying that, let's get started. So these paint brushes from Super Cheap Auto are really good. They come in like three different sizes. There's like the medium one. Got a, a real small one for like all the fine areas and you've got a bigger one. Um, I've been using the big one for all the cross beams just because we hadn't used it yet. And this one's all covered in white. For four bucks, pretty damn good. So that's pretty much it for today guys if you like this little upgrade we've done to the garage i think it looks awesome definitely makes a lot brighter down here it used to be a little bit darkened didn't you we still want to paint those shelves there 
maybe white and maybe these top beams whiten like leave the actual hardwood floors like that let me know in the comments below but also let me know what you guys think of the new series and videos you'd like to see whether it's garage stuff product reviews stuff on the jeep whatever it might be uh, rebuilding stuff garage stuff more garage renovations we want to do a few other things we want to get like a garage cart for our detailing gear it's just sitting in a container over there at the moment we want to organize all of that so if you guys got any other suggestions please leave in the comments below we are heading to new zealand on Friday for four weeks, so we'll be uploading a few different videos from New Zealand. We've got a four-wheel driving thing booked in Queenstown, which is going to be absolutely mint. But that's it for today, guys. If you like this upgrade we did to the garage, please hit that like button and subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.